Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today, we are doing eight handy tips from a Pokemon card collector on how to maintain your cards. Number one, this should be a general rule, but some people don't follow it. Never bend the corner. I mean, this is just an energy card I'm using, for example, but let's say it's a card like this. It's just dumb. It completely ruins the value by tenfold. Even if it's some um, first edition Lugia or whatever, it's not going to be worth much by the time you do this. Because even ungraded, people are not going to want a bent card. Because it just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. But this looks more aesthetically pleasing. It's straight, it's j just nice looking compared to a bent card. Then, number two, what some people then proceed to do is, like, write their name on the card with a sharpie or a marker. Not the best idea. It's, nobody would like to see a signature or a name on your card. And you may be asking, how do I know it's my card then? Well, you own it, so of course it's yours. So there's no need for you to sign your name on it or put anything down on it. Or putting a sticker on it. Number three, always leave or put valuable cards into top loaders. So, like, let's say this Lugia was like 20 bucks. Like, okay, I want to maintain the condition and don't want any scratch or dirt marks on it. Just sleeve it. Sleeves are available practically anywhere from Walmart, Target, Amazon, eBay. You can find them anywhere. And if you want to go a bit more expensive, but make sure your cards stay in good quality, look for top loaders. Those are usually your best bet on them. And, you know, I mean, it's kind of like a little display case for it, which is also a pretty nice touch. Number four, always keep your cards organized. And this is coming from someone who doesn't have the most organized cards. So, you know, always keep it in binders. Sometimes you want to keep those big promotional cards in oversized binders because you never know if it's going to be worth something. And look, hey there, little Pikachu. But yeah, overall, just keep things organized. It's easier that way. Number five, always keep your bulk cards. Now you may be wondering, Frank, why would I keep my bulk cards? They're useless. I mean, they're worth nothing. And I may be able to use them for play, but they may not be too useful keep them because sometimes people will actually accept bulk cards, especially certain like online sellers. The reason being is that, you know, it's just nice to have a feed just in case, at least in their case. Your cards can be like, let's say four cents per common card, 10 cents per rare card. You know, if you stack that all up, you can get a pretty nice sum if you have about a few hundred bulk cards that you don't really need. And you can allocate that money towards getting better pack. Number six. Always keep a good competitive deck, even if you're just a collector, because you never know when you feel like you want to battle somebody, and you're like, oh no, I actually don't have a deck for that. So I'm gonna need to look through all my bad cards and look for my special collector binder to see which ones I can actually use. So it's always good to keep at least one or two competitive decks. And before we move on to the next tip, here's a little mini tip. Always go for good sleeves, because there's actually a bit of a difference between them. Sometimes they're thicker, like this Shining Legends one is actually thicker than the Elite Trainer Box one. So maybe you look for some slightly thicker sleeves than usual. Tip number seven, make sure to always hold on to cards that you may think won't be the most valuable. For example, with Shining Kolo, when I first got it back in 2019, it was only worth three bucks. Now, it skyrocketed to 17 well, 15 but still, that's pretty good. $15 market value from free is not that bad over the course of a couple of years. So, always hold on to the cards that you least expect. And, you know, maybe one day you'll hold on to a card that skyrockets by more than 1,000%. So, always keep that in mind. Now, the final tip I would like all of you listeners, viewers, whatever, to hear is that Sometimes it's not about the money when it comes to collecting Pokemon cards. At first, they were designed just to be playing cards until around, you know, 2016 when Evolutions came out. That's when people started to use more for investing purposes, and I happen to be kind of one of those. But sometimes it's not the fun you have, the cards you get, especially cool cards like this. 
Oh, this may be only worth a buck and thirty cents. It's actually a pretty good card in competitive play. That's what it used to be based on, but now it's based on whatever rare chars are the Ray Quas is. So sometimes it's not about the money, it's about the enjoyment and the good cards you get along the way. Alright, well thank you for watching this little informational video I decided to make. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because that would be much appreciated towards the channel. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around. Bye.